Our Victoria Pavlenko uh, received this terrible uh, verdict. Our, a young woman who was taking care of animals, or we understand she could never imagine that our caring about street animals or about animals in Russia can be such a dangerous occupation. Uh, why, why she was sentenced? Because in Russia every year thousands of dogs are poisoned by local authorities and nobody ever responds to that. I do regret very much, uh, very harsh and inhuman sentence uh, against Victoria Pavlenko who took care of a stray dog uh, just crossing a street and she knew nothing about uh, his belonging or, I mean, who is the owner or possible owner of uh, Labrador. So that's why I regard uh, this sentence as improportional. Uh, it's too much. Uh, I don't see uh, her being a criminal uh, as she is treated for one and a half years um, uh, to stay in, in the prison among those who committed probably really real crimes against uh, properties or human beings. So that's why uh, the judgment uh, of this extent shows uh, unproportional uh, judgment towards people, more independent people, uh, people with the certain uh, civil uh, initiatives, people of independent mind, and I've I see it as a general line of Kremlin to punish those who are above the average. Or, uh, what do you think about the opinion of some experts who say that it's uh, similar to Chinese Communist Party policy? Or the idea behind it is to scare the youth and to suppress any kind of activism because human rights, animal rights is in the one pocket because society who treats animals badly can treat humans nicely. The Kremlin's policy is, uh, in a way, uh, to control all public initiatives. And uh, they indeed support only those individuals who uh, conduct their activities and follow Kremlin orders. Russia today doesn't need independent, uh, strong and uh, proactive personalities. They want to control. They don't want to see civil society going uh, as independent institution and having own uh, independent policies. So that's why Kremlin is, uh, is to punish those who do not uh, conduct their behavior according to their strategy. Our, but still, our Russian power and Russian wealth uh, comes from Europe because they are the biggest consumers of our Russian gas. So our, do you think it's realistic to influence the situation of persecution of Russian civil society within the system when Europe is totally dependent on Gazprom? I think uh, Russia is not really... Uh, uh, so independent from, um, from Europe. It is so dependent on, on Europe. That's why I call on each and every uh, of, uh, European, uh, from European uh, societies, I mean, to call on uh, Russian authorities to release uh, not just Viktoria Pavlenko and many others who have been imprisoned recently for their um, public uh, statements or behavior. So that's why uh, I think we have to push. We have to show that uh, we are not blind, we are not uh, deaf, uh, and we see all things which happen in, in, in Russian society now, because uh, we want to see Russia developing in a democratic way, not to be a more pro-Asian uh, developing state. Uh, what European Parliament can do in this particular case and the case of many other people who got these disproportionate uh, sentences or they were punished just for uh, trying to be progressive and kind, basically because Victoria Pavlenko, she was always very kind to dogs and for that she now is uh, together with assassins and real thieves and criminals. So what Parliament can do to help these people? Well, instead of pun uh, punishing uh, Victoria Pavlenko, she should be promoted. I mean, uh, taking uh, such a brave and uh, courageous uh, uh, stand uh, to help even a single dog. Uh, and there are probably thousands, if not millions, of stray dogs and cats in, uh, in Russia. And if Russia is to develop uh, in a way of uh, normal uh, uh, society, they should take uh, care of those dogs. So that's why I call on 
every organization in Europe worldwide, I mean, engaged into this policy line to call on Russian authorities to release uh, Viktoria Pavlenko and to do s something in common to help stray dogs and cats in, in Russia. I mean, it doesn't matter. They live uh, under the Putin's uh, dicta uh, dictatorship. Uh, those uh, animals, they, have, uh, they deserve to be taken a proper care.